Hello and welcome to the channel. I've slightly touched on the problem with facial labeling in my previous videos, but it did not show you how you can start labeling facials for your own machine learning project without relying on commercial software. The takeaway from this video would be to understand different tools we might use for facial labeling and learn how to install and start labeling with open source software. For those who don't know me, my name is Ruslan, I'm the CTO, and for many years I've been developing and launching AI based solutions for various aspects of oil and gas. On this channel I discuss AI based application in an easy to understand way. Ok, let's start with the content. As people who are interested in machine learning and geoscience, as we are, we want to make a better machine learning system for real world problems. But to make a difference we need to have a large set of open label dataset to train and validate a network we are building or at least put our geophysical knowledge in practice and label field that is set on our own. As you might already know, we have a problem with two of them. It's a real issue with oil and gas. We don't have enough label data sets for building better solutions. As far as I know, we can put our hands on Polyhaka, F3 and Penobscot data sets that are clearly not enough. And even for the folks who have commercial interpretation software, most of them lack an easy to use 3D labeling tool for facials. It might be because it optimized to peak reflections and composed horizons out of it. Even though reasonably good solutions for horizon peaking exist, they struggle when a complex geological environment is encountered. And we know that the interface between the two adjacent facies might be highly complex. So a need for a more flexible tool arises. I just quickly mentioned that some commercial software have already started implementing necessary tooling with brushes and other semi-automated ways to improve facial labeling. I want to stress that without an open source and easy to use tool for labeling, we would not be able to build better machine learning systems and hence hinder the pace of innovation. And so, in this video, I would like to skip the part where we must have commercial software for labeling and I would like to show you how we can use an open source labeling project that will help us label the seismic data set and use it for our machine learning projects from start to finish. Let's start with an overview of existing open source labeling projects. There are good ones. Some stand alone, others work from a browser and some are subscription based. All of them are general solutions. I've picked Django Labeler because this is a lightweight tool that you can run on your browser or as a standalone application with Qt. It has tools like Box, Polygons, Eclipse and Brushes as a labeling tools. This software also implements the needed functionality when you work with facials of removing and adding brush strokes. Ok, let's move to our computer and see how we can start the labeling process from the very beginning. But before we jump into the labeling process, we gotta convert SIGWAY files into the set of images, because no open source software works with our geoscience formats. But before that, we gotta download some SIGWAY files from the internet. For example, here I'm taking Parihaka dataset. You can take anything you want or use your own proprietary data instead. Ok, so we go into the SEGI open dataset website and looking for Parihaka 3D. Then we scroll down. Let's take for example near stack Segway file. Alright, so you will see Parihaka new stack is on your download folder. I've also written a script for you in Python that will take Segway files and convert it to the set of images. A script will be in my GitHub account. And here we gotta set up a few entries. First is the path to a dataset where Segway file exists. And the second one is where to save the images. And there is one more important entry we need to change is the slices to save. If for example you know the slices that you would like to output, you can implicitly set up in line or cross line that interests you. So here it is, the path to the segway file and the path to the images folder. Alright, so let's run the script 
After running that script, you'll see a set of images in the path to save folder that we define in the script. So right now we gotta install Django Labeler into our machine. Let's do it right now. To do that, we gotta go into Django Labeler GitHub repo and copy GitHub command, which then we need to pass into our terminal with git clone command. So that will start the process of copying the files into our machine. All right, we see that everything is copied already. Be aware, right now I'm showing how you can start Django Labeler in the browser. If you would like to use standalone version, which is a Qt based, then you gotta install a few additional libraries. Then we can start the labeling tool using this command. Take a note here, images directory is where we save the images in path to save folder. And we see the output where we can find the network address of the labeling tool. So let's just copy it and pass it into our browser. It says that we are annotating six images. But before we go into the labeling tool, let's first set up the faces that we would like to distinguish on these images. And we can do it here. Let's go back and go to the labeling tool itself. Alright, we see that our image is being loaded here. These are those images that we outputted to the path to save folder. In the upper part, you can see the instruction. You can read all the things that this tool might offer you. Let's start the picking process, for example, on this slice. Let's take first fascia and we'll use a polygon labeling tool. You can see here it can have few different options. Create a new label, add a label to existing label, subtract labeling or split the labeling. Let's start with a new label, pinpoint the regions where we see some identification of the faces exist. I'm not completely sure about the faces itself. I'm just giving you an example how to use the tool. And you can end editing by clicking on the right button on the mouse. The polygons that we are creating, those are linear operations. And we know that reflections are not linear in nature. That is why we need to post-process by using more precise tooling as brush. Let's take brush and use subtract. So we can subtract regions that are not adhering to the reflections. And this is how you segment faces. Even for your own project, you can just start labeling and to make those faces consistent with each other. It will take a lot of time. Let's go back and see how those annotations looks like on folder. First, you will see the settings files where we set up the facial name and facial color, as well as the labeling file in JSON format. And after that, we need to convert those annotations that were created by the tool and use it for the training process. And then you can use this script that I've written in Python, which you can download it from my GitHub account. And here we gotta set up a few entries as well, path to the data set and path to load as well as slices to load. After running the script, you'll see the train slice and trace segmentation leaks populates with the segmentation's values as well as the initial seismic itself. Previously, I've already talked about the introduction into facial analysis. Consider checking it out. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.